Today I want to talk to you guys about how to increase your home value on Zillow. Why would you want to do that, you say? Hi, I'm Natasha Antonioni. I'm a realtor here in Austin, and if you're kind of curious about all things hip, cool, happening, family, and design related in Austin, stick around and don't forget to live your dream already. The best time to really stick to doing this is when you're about to sell your house and if you're applying for a home equity loan or some other type of loan so that you get the most for your house and attract the right buyers. So one of the reasons I wanted to make this video is because I make sure that all my clients do this. Now, legally, I'm not allowed to claim ownership on my client's house, so they have to do it themselves. So I live in Austin, Texas. One of the things about Austin, the tax assessors know that this is the fastest growing city in America, so they're going around to get their taxes higher, correct? So. When the tax assessor drives by your house, if it looks different than the photos, they'll say, oh, the house has been updated and they can only assess it from the street. Should a tax assessor ever come to your front door and ask if they can do a walkthrough, you have the legal right to say no. So don't let them in if you have updated your house because then the value on the tax record will go up and you'll be paying more taxes. So don't do that. And listen, make sure you subscribe and I wanna hear from you. Leave your comments below. What do you wanna know about Austin real estate? Right now in Austin, the house prices can be all over the map if you're not living in a developer neighborhood. If you're in a crazy quirky neighborhood like I am called Cuernavaca or someplace downtown or a neighborhood that's in transition like Dripping Springs, you might find that you have trailers down the street and multi-million dollar lakefront properties down the road. So the home values get all whacked out. I'll use my house for an example. My house home value is 800 something, right? But it's actually higher than that. So if I was gonna list my house, I don't want that Zestimate saying 865,000 when it's actually worth more than that. So let's say that you are wanting to increase your home value. If you agree, say agreed below. <laughs> okay, so let's dive in so I can show you on my screen exactly how to do this. First, you're gonna log into Zillow, put your address in, and then you'll see on the screen that it says edit facts. And then you'll see for example, my home right now says that it's a six bedroom, three bath. Uh, that is incorrect. It's a five bedroom with four baths. And the square footage, we increased it from 3486 to 3800. So I would just go in and I would make that change. So obviously the per square foot value is gonna go up, correct? Yes, and we're gonna see here that it says a structural remodel was done in 2009 the people that owned the home before us, they did a remodel on it. We remodeled on top of their remodel in 2014. So I'm gonna change that to 2014. And then we have tons of details here. So we have dishwashers. Here it doesn't even say that we have a range oven. Um, we wanna add a garbage disposal, a dryer. So I would just go through and I would click all the things that we've added. For example, it says that we don't have a dryer or a refrigerator, so I would just go through and I would click all those things because it's going to add value to the home, correct? Yes. Okay, so it says here that we have carpet. We don't have carpet in this house anymore. We have hardwood, so we would click hardwood. We would uncheck carpet, and again, that's going to increase the value of the house. It doesn't even say that we have a dining room or a family room or a laundry room, so we're going to click all those things. Right now, it says the total room count on the house is zero, so we're going to change that to whatever your room count is. Architectural style, so typically modern, in Austin right now tends to get a little bit more per square foot so I would definitely want to click that um, stucco is more expensive than the stone let's say so you would want to click that and then go through and make all of the changes there's also a feature where you can upload photos and media and so if you have new photos of your house, even if they're not your professional shots yet, but they're better than what's there, then you wanna go ahead and update those things. And then at the end, when you're done making all the changes, you're gonna save that. And then just hit save changes and you would have a new Zestimate. And that's it. And listen, I always wanna hear from you, so make sure to leave your comments below, whether it be design, real estate, or just what to do in this town. 
I love to hear from you. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned on all things Austin real estate, design, and what's happening in this hot, sizzling town. Don't forget, live your dream already. Do you have more questions about Austin real estate? Put your questions in the comments below. I'd love to hear about you and we're always making new content, so maybe we'll make a content specific to your needs. Well, thanks so much for being here. We look forward to seeing you soon. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll be seeing you next time.